An Onalaska native takes aim at one of the biggest moments in his life. Lucas Harrow says he's ready to represent Team USA at the World Para Archery Championships next month in the Czech Republic, where he could qualify for the 2024 Paralympic Summer Games in Paris. And on this International Olympic Day, this fierce contender reflects on his journey as he nears another significant milestone. His aim. And you're shooting from 50 meters, so half a football field. Dialed in. And you gotta hit a cantaloupe 72 times over. His focus. A pair of world championships, July 13th, in Pills in Czech Republic. And I'm hoping to podium there uh, and earn a quota slot for the United States for 2024 Paris Paralympics. Straightforward. His strength and the inspiration from which he draws, not what you might expect. June 30th was the anniversary of my accident. I'm coming up on my 10 year anniversary of my accident. 10 years since Lucas Harrow suffered a spinal cord injury while out boating with friends. An injury that left his legs and parts of his arms and hands paralyzed. Lucas first describing to me in 2014 the moment that forever changed his trajectory. When I hit the water and uh, when I hit the log, I, I actually didn't get knocked out. So I, I consciously drowned. You know, I was laying there, well, basically hoping someone was going to find me. Instead of focusing on what was lost, however, Lucas looks to the passion he picked up roughly two years ago and the mindset he's now found. Having to cope and deal with my accident and, and some of the experiences that I've had and rehospitalizations post injury, and I think that's helped me when I'm on the line shooting in a competition in terms of overcoming adversity or overcoming something that, hey, I. That didn't go the way I wanted it to, but we're going to reset and we're going to send, we're going to send another arrow, right? There's nothing I can do about that. We're going to send another one. And so, yeah, I, I, I try to just clear my mind and go through my shot process and be very much in the moment. What you're talking about there is it sounds like a metaphor for life. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. It's living in the moment, right? Like you can't control what's already happened. You can't sit and try and focus on that. It's only going to frustrate you. It's, there's nothing productive that comes of that. I spent a lot of years and a lot of, you know, this hasn't been just a happy rainbow sunshine journey. This has been, I've had some really dark days in the last 10 years. I shouldn't be here. I should be dead. We never should have had that interview 10 years ago. So the days where I feel sorry for myself, where that inner voice starts to come in, and we all have this, you know, oh, this is too hard. It's too hot. I'm too tired. You need to actively create that other voice to combat that. You don't know what I'm made of. You don't know what I can do. Yeah, we can't wait to see what he can do. Lucas is, as his father Mike tells me, quote, very dedicated and tough as nails. Now in part two of our conversation coming up tonight at 10, Lucas shares his thoughts on the next 10 years and what motivates him each and every day. And you can follow his performance at the World Championships through a link in this story on our website, WXW.com. Of course, as you might expect, global competition comes with a high price tag. Lucas is just one of a few athletes competing at this level in the W1 classification, meaning his paralysis affects his upper body as well and requires help from an assistant. He says 60 to 70 percent of the he is 60 to 70 percent of his way toward his season goal and thankful for the community support so far but can still use some help so on your screen is a qr code that takes you directly to lucas's fundraising site we'll also have that link on our news app and website